what I'm going to show you today is how to do a sequential answering system. So I've got it all set up here. All of these tell us what numbers we're working with, whether we're working with enter or reset. Enter I'll leave for later on in the tutorial. That's for if you want a three strike and you're out rule or you want to be able to record how many incorrect responses there are. Um, that was more a possibly not a Minecraft edu um, feature that I wanted but more of a you could put a code lock on your base on a SMP server and set it up so if someone enters the wrong code three times they end up dying in some horrible way which I'm sure all of you who are on SMP know how to do that. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get a sequential line going. So what we need to do is we need to pick our code. So I'm going to do 4, 8, let's do 4, 8, 3. So they're, they're my three lines. Now technically I can wire the rest up. I don't need to though. Um, we'll get there soon. Um, so I said I was going to start with a 4. So if 4 is my first code then that needs to come out here and I'm going to line it up with this enter line I need to put an RS NOR latch there now I've been having trouble with these RS NOR latches um, because you need to put a piece of redstone there and make sure it comes out straight otherwise they don't tend to reset properly now I'm just going to put a button here so I can reset it the way I want it so now when button number 4 is pressed it will send a pulse into here which will turn that torch off which will allow this torch to be on which will push out a, a sequence here a line here so this line is going to drive a piston actually it's going to drive two pistons if you want that enter one but if we don't want that enter one it's just going to drive one piston which I'll use a red block will push into here and then we'll be able to carry current through that block if that's been activated okay so that's the first sequence so unless button number four is pressed this piston won't extend and this current won't be able to travel through eight so we decided our, our sequence is going to be 483 so if that works if they get that piece of the code right we come across another RS NOR latch and again I'm going to put a button on it so I can reset it the way I want I'll show you how to do a complete reset system later um, that's what the green line there is for that's the reset system so there's another RS NOR latch and that is, there f that is then going to run across to here and drive another piston go back one more put another red block now I'm actually going to put two repeaters there because otherwise if I put redstone there it will be driven by that torch so I'm going to put ooh, not a piston, a repeater and then this line can just travel straight up and then so if we've if we've pressed 4 that piston extends then if we press what did I decide it was? 8 then this piston will extend and power will be able to go through and then we'll be pressing 3 and the power will be able to run all the way through to our success whatever our success is whether it's a door opening or um, being able to access something a piston working or something like that um, for our intensive purposes I'm going to put another RS NOR latch in um, in here going a bit quick which will give us an idea when it's when we've been successful so this line here I'm going to put there Oop. and then I'm going to put another block on here so we can actually see what happens so when that torch lights up we've successfully entered the right code 
Now, as I said, this will work in standard Minecraft or Minecraft Edu. The reason I'm doing this in a single player world is because my server doesn't seem to cope very well with redstone at the moment. So it, um, yeah, it glitches out. So I decided my code was four. So I press four. That sends a pulse and you'll see that piston is now extended. Now when I press eight, the power will be able to run through that block. and will enable the next piston to extend. So now when I press three, that torch will light up because the current can run through that piston there. So that's how we do sequential. Um, now, what stops kids randomly pressing buttons till they get it all right? Um, I'm gonna go through and reset all of these RS NOR latches so that we're back to a default why didn't that reset? Ah, because that button is interfering with my piston. So maybe I should bring that out one more. Sorry about that. So now when I press this button, hopefully the piston oop, won't extend. Good. So this is where the reset line comes in. Now the reset line is, is going to go into each of these RS NOR latches where I've placed that button. So it's just a, a big long wire that runs around and goes into those. So if I, I'm going to run it out a little bit and then I'm going to go up and I think I can only need to go up two. I'm going to come out and around here because there is a cheats way of getting that to reset and that's it right there. I found that one out today. So what happens now is when the reset button is pressed it powers this which will then turn that torch off. So that button is now superfluous. We also need to run that to our other ones. So if we keep going, I want to be able to put a piss a sorry a repeater there. Run my wire. So now that'll reset that one and we also need to come out to the last one. So what we do is we just add a repeater so we get the right sort of distance. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to go around the back. I'm just going to whack a repeater in there. That could cause us a problem actually. Maybe I will go around the back just to make sure. I don't want to make that piston extend when I press the reset button. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not going to make it, so I'm just going to put another repeater in just to make the signal run all the way. So now when I hit that reset line, it should reset. So if I press, what was it, 4, 8, 3, our light should be on, and it is, so we've had success. All our pistons and everything have, have extended. If I press the reset button, hopefully my light goes off, but my pistons didn't, uh, because that line there... I need to go up a block there that's been powered and it shouldn't be. There are still some fun glitches to be had with um, powering blocks diagonally opposite those. So that will work now hopefully. So if I go back and tr give another crack. So this is what I do. I make something, I spend ages trying to work it out and then come across issues and just fix them as I go so it's not stressful. Um, so my light's on, I've had success, all my, my two pistons are extended. Now when I hit the reset button, hopefully both pistons will retract, and they have. 
and my success light has gone off. Now what's to stop the kids just spamming buttons? This is where we start running another reset line. So what I do is on all of the ones that are not part of the correct code we connect them all together using redstone and we're probably just going to do that so if we now just connect all of them up with redstone connect that to our reset line then whenever I hit, so if I press 4 and I get that right you'll see that piston will extend, it has that piston right there now if I press 2 it will retract so that stops the students just spam clicking trying to get everything happening um, so the next trick so that's how you get sequential answers and again this output light here is our success criteria uh, is our success signal so that signals whatever you want to open or fire or whatever to go